Welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy channel. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to draft a well-fitted basic bodice gown using simple and easy pattern techniques. And we'll be making use of the following items for this drafting. I have my tape measure here, my hip curve, my measurements, paper scissors, ruler, marker or pencil, body form ruler, and my French curve. Please, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell to receive more videos like this each week. Like this video, share to family and friends also. And we'll be making use of these measurements for this drafting. The measurements of, on green are your vertical measurements. These vertical measurements are measurements we take from our shoulder down to the waistline of full length. We will also be needing a fresh pattern paper, as you can see. And now, the very first thing we are going to do is to make, create our border lines. I'm done creating my border lines. As you can see, I have my shoulder line, I have my center front and my center back. And if you look at these border lines, they look like a box. How do I get the width of this box? I got the width of this box using my hip circumference measurement. And my hip circumference measurement here, I have 46 inches. I'm going to divide 46 inches by 2, and I'm left with 23 inches. So I'm going to add 0 0.5 ease to these 23 inches, and I have 23.5 inches. That is for ease. Now, I took my measurement from my center front to the center back because this I'm going to work on half of this body. So as you can see, I have 23.5 inches. That is the width of this box. Then the length of this box is taken from the shoulder line. From my shoulder line down to my full length. I'm using the length of this paper as my full length. And here I have 40 inches. Now we are going to impute these vertical measurements first. Looking at my vertical measurements, I have my bust point measurement, I have my waistline for the back measurement and waistline for the front. But for this drafting, I'm going to start from my front measurement, my front bodies. So I'll be taking my the measurement of my bust point and my waistline for the front. And here I have 10 and half inches for my bust point and my waistline for the front as 18 inches. So then I'll be placing my tape on my shoulder line. And I'm going to take the measurement of my bust point, which is 10 and half inches. I'll make a, a mark here. Then going down to my waistline for the front, I have 18 inches. How do you measure the waistline for your front? You will be placing the sh your shoulder, your tape on your shoulder to your bust point, under your bust. Then you take it to your waistline. As you can see on the screen, I have the picture of how you are going to take these measurements accurately. So coming down to my, after my waistline, I have the length of my hip. And the length of my hip here, I'm working with 26 inches as my hip length. Although I don't have the 26, I didn't put it here, but I'm going to add it up here. That is my hip length measurement which is part of our the green line that is the vertical measurements and i have 26 inches here having done that for the front i'll come over to the back measurement that is the back bodies and i'll be placing my tape on the shoulder i'll also come down to my bust point which is 10 and a half inches 
and in this case for my waist length you can see my waist length is shorter by two inches i have 16. so as you place your tape at the back of your shoulder on the highest point of your shoulder then you tie a rope on your waist you take your measurement from your shoulder to where the rope stopped that is your waist length i have my own at 16 inches you can see that the 16 inches is shorter way shorter than the front measurement 18 inches so this is so because of the bust the bust took the much of the measurements so that is why you see the uh, the measurement longer than that of the back because the back is straight so i'll be making my mark at 16 inches then i'll also come down to my hip remember because this is 16 inches because it's shorter uh, my hip length for the back is also shorter by two inches so since i have 26 inches here i'm going to deduct two inches from 26 and i have 24 inches here i'll be placing my tape and the same thing will also affect the length of the front and the back so coming to the length i have 40 for the front and i'm going to deduct two inches from it and now i have 38 inches so i'm going to rule connect these lines before the connection of this point, these measurements I took, my vertical measurements, I'm going to divide the width of this box into two. Remember, I have 23 and a half inches. That is 46 divided by 2, 23, which is my hip circumference, which is the largest circumference I have on my measurement. Then I'm going to add 0 0.5 inches for ease. That is how I got to 23 and a half inches. So I'm going to divide the 23 and a half inches as you can see and get the midpoint. And I have my midpoint here as 11 three quarter. That is 11.75. So I will place my tape back to the center front and I'll make a mark at 11.75. Five, I, I, as you can see, I'll also go down to get a straight line. I'll also make a mark of 11 three quarter, then I'll rule my line. I'm done separating the front bodies and the back bodies using this line that is the width of this box. I divided it by two to have my front bodies and my back bodies. Now I've separated the front and the back bodies. I'm going to concentrate on the front bodies now. You remember that this point I have here is my bust point line, which is 10 and a half inches. I'm also going to come back here to get a straight line. I'll be marking 10 and a half inches. Then coming over here for the waistline, I have 15 inches and I'll come over here and make and have 15 inches. Then I'll come down to the waistline and I have 26 inches. Now I'm going to rule. I'm going to join these lines, these points. The reason for this is to have to get a straight line. So I'm going to connect my line to the point of this vertical line. I also do the same for the waistline. Now you can see I have my shoulder line for the front, my bust point line, waistline hip line and my full length so now i'm going to work at the neckline and we are going to use the standard neck measurement for of um, three inches that is for the width i have three inches which is standard and for the depth i'm going to i have three inches so i'm going to draw a box here to enable me to get a good curve here so having created this box of three inches depth by three inches width at this particular point i'm going to take one inch up diagonally i have my mark here so you can see how i placed my curve rule or if you have a french curve you can use that I made sure that it's touching this point, this end and this end, so that your neckline will not go so deep. This is just like a guideline. So from this point to this point, as you can see, I took one inch, one inch, so as to get a good curve.
now having created my neckline this is just a basic neckline you can modify your neckline you can make it a sweetheart neckline a v neckline you can even make it make it a scoop neckline or even you can do whatever thing you want to do with your neckline but after doing that but for this measurement for this drafting today i'm using the basic measurement which is three by three now i'm going to place my tape on the center front line along the shoulder line remember i have a shoulder measurement of 15 inches that's across my shoulder from one end to the other and i'll be dividing it into two because i'm working on half of it and i have 7.5 and at this point of 7.5 i'm going to come down by one inch which will serve as my So uh, as I have gotten the half of my shoulder 15, I'm going to come down by 1.5 because I'm working at the front, okay? But when I, I get to the back, I'm coming down by 1 inch. So from this point, I'm coming down by 1.5 inches. And then I'm going to connect this line to this line. So this is my shoulder slope for the front. This shoulder slope is 3, 1 point five inches then i'm going to connect this point to this shoulder slope as you can see the next thing i'm going to do is to create i'm going to create my chest line and to create my chest line i'm going to make use of my bust measurements my bust measurement is 39 inches and I'm going to divide 39 inches. I'm going to divide it by 6. Then I will add 1.5 to it. That will give me a perfect armhole depth to my chest line. And in this case, after computing it, I have 8 inches. So I'm now I've created my front neckline and I have my shoulder slope. I'm going to go over to my back bodies to create the show the neckline for the back. So I'll be taking the same three inches I took for the front, and I'll be placing my tape on the center back and taking 7.5, which is the half measurement of my shoulder. Then that is for my shoulder, and for my neckline, I'm taking three inches. The same measurement I took over here, I'm also going to repeat it here. But now coming to the neck depth, I'm going to work with one inch for the neck depth. Then I'll connect three inches to my one inch. Then at this point of three inches and one inch, I'll be placing my French curve on these two points. Then I'm going to connect my neckline. Now coming to the point of this shoulder, remember I have a shoulder of a half of my shoulder at 7.5 because for the back, I took 1.5 for the front, but for the back, I'm going to drop my shoulder by one inch to, to get a good fit. So I'm going to connect this line, this point, I'm going to connect it to the point where my shoulder slope is. Then from this point of my shoulder slope, that is where I'm going to do a little calculation to get the depth of my armhole. And I'm, I'll be making use of my bust circumference, which is 39 inches. So the 39 inches, I'll divide it by 6, then I'll add up 1.5 to it, and I'll have 8 inches. So I'll be working with 8 inches to create my chest line. I'll be placing my tape... On the point of my shoulder slope, then I'll go down by 8 inches. The, at this point of 8 inches, remember that the full length from this shoulder line down to this 8 inches is now 9 inches. I'll come back to the point of the front shoulder and I'll take 9 inches. Then I'm going to connect my line to have my chest line. For a very good fit, 
you can see i dropped my shoulder with 1.5 inches for the front bodies please take note of that and for the back bodies i dropped my shoulder at the point of one inch having created the neckline for the back which is um, one inch here i have the width of one inch and i have the depth of one inch and i have the width of three inch sorry three inches i'm going to place my tape at the point i drop my shoulder and you can see i have seven and a half inches here i'm going out now i'm going to work on the across back measurements for the front and for the back and for this across back measurement line we are going to divide our armhole depth at the back by two so i'll be placing my tape at the back where my shoulder dropped you remember i have eight inches here according to our calculation so the midpoint for eight inches here is four inches now you place your tape back to your shoulder line you have five inches you come down to the front and you also mark five inches then you draw a straight line to connect the line now you can see that this is the across across front line and the across back line to take the measurement of your across back and your across front, the picture on the screen shows how you can take your across back measurements accurately. And for this measurement, for this drafting, I have my across back as 14 inches and the across front as 13 inches. This across front we have as 13 inches. I'm going to divide 13 by 2. And then I'll place my tape at the center front. So 13 and half, this is my 13 and half, which is the across front. I'm going to divide it by two. I'll be left with six, three quarter. So I'll place my tape on the across front and I'll be making a mark at six, three quarter or 6.75 inches. So I have my mark here as six, sorry. I have my mark as six three quarter. That is six point zero seven five. Sorry, six point seven five inches here. Okay. Then coming over to my chest line, I'm going to place the measurement of my round bust divided by four because I'm working on a quarter of my body now. So my round bust divided by four, I'll be left with nine point three. Four, which is 9.75 9 3 quarter 9.75 inches so i will place my tape at the center front as you can see and i'm going to make a mark at 9 3 quarter i would like to go over it once again for clarity so i will be placing my tape at the center front along the across front line remember i have my across front measurement as 14 inches and 14 inches here i'll be dividing it sorry for the front is three and a half inches and i divided it by two and that is where what this point is that is six three quarter and coming over to the chest line i placed my bust measurement of 39 divided by 4 because I'm working on a quarter of my bodies and I have 9 3 quarter so I made a mark of 9 3 quarter here but I'm going to add a quarter of an inch for ease I'm adding a quarter of an inch for ease remember that initially when we started we added 0 0.5 inch then divided it by two so divided by two is a quarter of an inch that's why i added a quarter of an inch now i'm going to connect this point this point to this point to form my armhole my armhole so i'll be placing my ruler this way to this point then i'll now place my french curve from that point So I'm placing my body form ruler here to this point to get a good 
I now have my arm hole curve here. Okay, that's my arm side. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to my waistline and I'm going to divide the measurement of my round waist. I have it as 36. I'm going to divide by 4 and I'm having 9 inches. I'll place my tape at the center front. I'll make a mark of 9 inches. Then I'll add quarter for ease. One quarter of an inch for ease. Then I'm going to place my ruler on the quarter of an inch of my bust then i'm going to connect you can connect with ruler you can also connect with your body form ruler so i'll be using my body form ruler for this connection so i have my i'm done connecting my bust circumference quarter of feet to my quarter of my waist circumference now i'm going to go over to my hip you remember we have the hip circumference of 46 inches divided by 4 i have 23 then i already divided remember we added 0 0.5 to it in this measurement we divided by 2 23 added 0 0.5 for ease everything for that box width gave us 23.5 now we divided by 2 that is how i got the measurement so i'll be making use of this measurement here 11 three quarter that is what we are going to connect so i'm going to place my ruler from the point of my waist to my hip or i might also i'll be using my you can use your ruler you can use your hip curve but i prefer using my hip curve for this demonstration i'll be placing my hip curve to the point of my waist as you can see and i'll connect neatly I'm going over to impute my darts and to put my darts for my darts impute. I'm going to take the bust span measurement, the bust span measurement, and this bust span measurement, bust span that is the measurement of your nipple to nipple, and in this case, I have seven inches. That is, if you place your tape at one bust apex to the other, you divide it by two. So I have seven inches from one point of your nipple to the other. The measurement you get there for, for this drafting, I have seven inches. So these seven inches, I'm going to divide it into two. I'll place my tape at the center front and divide by two. Seven divided by two, I have three and a half. I'll repeat the same three and a half on the waistline. I'll receive the three and a half. And I'm going to connect this 3.5. I'm connecting it all the way down to the hip line, as you can see. For coming over to the waist, I'm going to take my dart intake of one inch. And this one inch, I'm going to divide it into two. And I will be having 0 0.5 inch this way, 0 0.5 inch this way. I'll come over to the bust point and I'll be coming down by 1.5 inch. You can come down by 1 inch. You can come down by 2. It depends on the bust size. But in, for this illustration, I'm coming down by 1.5 inches. Then coming over to the hip, I'm going to come up by two inches then with my straight ruler i'll connect this 1.5 1.5 inches i'm going to connect this 1.5 to the 1 0.5 inch i'll do the same to the 0 0.5 i'll come back to the two inches i'll connect then i'll go over here and do the same thing this is two inches i came up from the hip and 1.5 from the bust point now you can see i've created my that now i'll go over to the back bodies this is the across back measurement on the screen you can see how the across back measurement is taken accurately for this drafting, I have my across back 
for the back i have 14 inches 14 inches divided by two i have seven inches i'll be placing my tape on the center front and i'm going to take the measurement of seven inches as you can see i have seven inches here then coming over to the chest i'm still making use of my bust circumference of 39 inches divided by four because i'm working on a quarter of my bodies I'm going to place my tape from the center front. I'm going to make a measurement of 9 3 quarter, 9.75 inches. And at this 9.75 inches, I'm going to add 0 0.25 inches. That is a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch. Then at this point of a quarter of an inch, and this point of my shoulder drop and the across back, I'm going to connect to get my arm hole or arm side. Now, having done that with my body form ruler, I'm going to connect, as you can see, to that point. I'm going to connect my core for my arm hole. Now I'm going to come over to, to uh, the measurement of my, the vertical measurements of my back. Starting from my shoulder line, I'll place my tape. You can see I have my across back at 5. I have my chest line at 9. Then I'll come over to my bust point, which is already marked as 10.5. Now my waistline, my waistline is taking is 16 inches I've, I've already explained how we got this 16 inches so at this point of 16 inches i'll place my tape to get a straight line i'll also make a mark at 16 inches then with my ruler i'm going to connect this line this is my waist line for the back if you look at the front waist and the back waist you see that is there is a slight difference the difference here is a difference of two inches so these two inches is exactly what we are going to take as our bust that so i'm going to take for the waist this is the waist that intake look at the, the shaded point that is where it's being replaced because if you don't at the end of the day you're taking this that you'll be shorting your waist so that is why we replaced it then remember that we have two inches differences and at these two inches differences from this bus point from the bus point i'm going to place my tape on this line this is now our new side line I'm placing it on that sideline and I'll come down by one inch. From the point of one inch, I'll also take the two inches that intake. This is the two inches that intake for the bus. Now I'm going to connect. I'm going to come from this bus point. Remember I have 1.5. 1, 1 I'll still repeat the same thing, 1.5. So I have 1.5 inches this way. Then I'm going to connect this 1.5 to the one inch then i'll come down also connect back to the two inches then i'm going to share these two inches into two i have one inch here i'm going to use a different marker to separate that i will divide this line then i'll come out a little bit with three quarter this is the three quarter line now okay then i'll be connecting this three quarter back to this point and i'll also connect it back to my chest line this is to accommodate the dart when you sew the dart because you are going to sew in this dart it needs to be accommodated if not it's going to shorten but with this you are okay i'm done with the front for, for the front the that in the bust that and the waist that now coming to the back you remember we only have the the waist that there's no bust that because there's no uh, bust at the front we already have a bust circumference divided by four which is nine 
0.9 three quarter and I added 0 0.5 0 0.25 is then coming to the waste I have my that intake I have my waste round waste of 36 divided by 4 I have 9 inches plus 1 inch that intake then plus half quarter one quarter inch of ease so I'm going to place my ruler my body ruler I'm going to place it at this point connect it to this point I place my hip curve from that point to this center line you can also use your straight rule but I want to use my hip curve here so you can see now you can see that the the that intake I have here if I have to place if I have to take the one inch that intake here if I have to do that and place my my body ruler you will see I also have this shape I have for the front so you see the shape is already there so this is the dark already the dark that have already been replaced and now you can see we have succeeded in having a a full gown well fitted using these parameters and working step by step as you see in this drafting you are going to achieve a perfect fit but remember that this drafting has no uh, no seam allowances we don't have any seam allowance anywhere. So, but by the time we cut it off, then we'll add our seam allowances. But then, there's something remaining that we need to do. In order to get um, our contour, I'm going to work at the back first. Okay? So, coming to the back, you know the human back is not as straight as this. So, I'm going to... From this point of the center line, I'm going to go in by 0 0.5, then I'll make a mark. Then from this point of 0 0.5, I'm going to place my straight ruler from the across back. Okay, I'm going to contour from the across back to the 0 0.5. Then I'm also going to come down from this point so to contour my back I came in with 0 0.5 inch and I connected with my ruler from the point of 0 0.5 straight to the across back line now I'm going to come up by 2 inches remember I came up by 2 inches I'll place my tape on the hip line and I'll come up by 2 inches then at these 2 inches I'm going to connect the 0 0.5 back to the uh, two inches you can see now for the bomb illusion I'm going to come over to the hem to the front hem at the front hem you remember my I transfer the measurement of my hip because I need this to fit in well I need it to be a pencil skate but if you if you just want it that way you can leave it this way if you don't want it pencil you want a straight gown you can leave it this way but in this pattern I need a pencil skirt so because of that I'm going to place my tape at the center front you, you can see I have 12 inches here already so I'm going to take off two inches I'm going to connect at the two inches so I'll be placing my ruler from this point of my hip I'm going to connect to the two inches so this is two inches here because I need it to be a pencil so I'm going to for the back at the back I'm going to spread across these two inches I'm going to take one inch this way then I'll come over to the center back I'll also take one inch so you can see I share the one inch this is one inch here and this is one inch the total of one plus one you have two which I took from the front so I'm going to connect from my hip to the one inch then I'll also connect from the hip to the one inch so I'm going to shade 
this for you to see it clearly all right people this is a basic gown wrapped well fitted if you follow this step by step you are going to have a well fitted basic bodies gown okay you can see the center back was contoured why because the human bag is not as straight as this so to eliminate all those puffs you see in most garments on the waist we need to do this contouring and again for the bum illusion you know we have a bum at the center back okay that is why we took away one inch we spread the, the two inches for the front across with this you still have the same measurements here the same thing i have here is the same thing i have here also so people this is how to draft a fitted well fitted basic bodies now i really need you to see to have a clearer picture of how this gun is going to be cut so just watch the step by step way i'm cutting this outfit you remember we have some shades here and there all these shades here and there it might be somehow confusing but watch as i cut remember this one inch for the bomb illusion getting to this point i'm going to place my scissors this way getting to this point then i'm going to place my scissors straight at the center line then i'll stop at the neckline i'm going to start from the neckline and take away the neckline then stop at the shoulder seam length then from this point i'm going to remember we have our bust our dart replaced here please don't cut through this line we are not discarding that point so please watch as i'm cutting the shaded line here is our dart intake so i'm going to cut through Coming, getting to the hip, I'm cutting through the one inch for the pencil skirt. That is for the back. Now I have my back piece. Then I'll go back to my front piece. Now cutting for the front piece. Remember I have two inches here for the bum illusion and for the pencil gown getting to the hip remember i'm not taking in into this is our that intake for the waist please don't cut through there you can see how i'm cutting i'm cutting through the one inch replaced i'm stopping at this point i'm going to follow the green line i'm going to cut through my green line okay i'm following the 0.75 inches then i'll take it to my chest then i'll come over to my neckline i'll follow the curve of my neckline carefully then getting to the shoulder slope i'll now cut through my armhole now i'm going to cut through my center i'm going to cut off the center line so people you can see i've finished cutting off the unnecessary lines this is what we are left with you can see how well fitted this pattern is looking already on paper then coming over to the fabric you'll be placing your fabric you'll be placing the center front on fold the center front is going to be on fold is going to be on fold then you are going to cut the back at a se as a separate piece so some people might want to put a zipper at the back which is very normal all you need to do is to place your fabric place your pattern and take one one inch one one inch for your zipper you take the one inch one inch up to the point of your hem now some people will also want to have an overlap or a slit if you need a slit you just take one one inch down to your hem 
But if you want an overlap, you are going to place your tape at the end of the back. Watch me demonstrate it, although we are not doing that for today. I'll be placing my tape at the hem if you need an overlap and you take 8 inches above from the, at that point. Okay? You'll be taking 8 inches and at this point of 8 inches, remember, you'll be coming out with 3 inches while you have your 1 1 inch connected to this line. Okay? So people, that is it. It's very, very easy and if you have it this way, you are going to have a very good fitted basic bodies gown. So thank you very much for watching. If you find this content helpful, please subscribe. I can't forget the day we met.